is up welcome or welcome back to my channel Glenn by Sam thank you so much for clicking on this video today's video is going to be one about in my opinion the most exciting eyeshadow palette release of the year and that is as you can read from the title the Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette this was recently released by Be Perfect and it is a collaboration with Stacey Marie makeup artist who also did the first Carnival palette and the Carnival XL Pro I'm personally very excited to see what this palette is like I don't have the other Carnival palettes so I can't really do like a comparison I've been wanting the Carnival XL Pro palette for a very long time when I saw that they were releasing this one so I immediately subscribed to the email notification list for the pre-launch and I was able to order this this cost around 36 pounds but I definitely think it's worth it because there are so many shades in this palette look at these shades so this palette is absolutely gorgeous it's a super colorful palette and I don't own anything like this so I told myself I could buy it because I do own quite a bit of palettes but I don't really have colorful rainbow palettes so I'm super excited to now own this but in this video I will show you guys how I created this look which I think turned out so so pretty but if you're excited to see the look that I created using the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette then please keep on watching so I'm super excited to start playing with this palette it's like one of the palettes I'm like most excited about to try so we'll just try it out it has a lot of colorful shades I'm not entirely sure yet which shade I'm going to be using but I think we'll do sort of like a purpley pink look because I always love those and there's a nice big mirror in here which is good for the tutorial so we'll see how this is going to turn out I'm really excited because I've never tried any of the Be Perfect palettes so I think we should just get into it so I've already primed my eyes with the P. Louise base so the base is all set and ready for the eyeshadow so now let's just pick a color we'll go with the shade Tahiti this one so I'm taking a PC20 from Peaches and Cream And then just slightly bring it in a little bit but you don't want to like blend it out yet just like pack it on your lid just taking a bit more it's a gorgeous shade and it applies super pigmented I don't see any fallout so that is good so we're just going to do the same on the other eye as well Then taking the same brush, you kind of like want to go in very very light motions and see if you can blend it a bit. So just like soften the edges a bit, basically. That is looking pretty nice. This shadow is just so smooth. I love how it applies. It blends really, really nicely. I just need to add a little bit of more shadow on the left eye because it's not as pigmented. So now I'm going to take this brush from the Beauty Bay Iconic brush set and I'm going to be taking, let's see which one are we going to take I'm going to be taking the shade Fruity right here at the bottom of the palette it's sort of like a little bit brighter purple but it's like more going towards pink and just top off the excess and very very light pressure sort of like go over that previous shade and blend out the edges And as you can see, I'm also bringing that in the inner corner a bit. Then I'm taking this fluffy brush also from the Beauty Bay Iconic brush set and I'm just going to go over all that we just blended with very, very light pressure to blend it out even more. I 
I really like how this is looking. I have decided I do want to go a little bit darker with the color. So I'm going to be taking the shade Blackberry right there. And I'm basically just going to go over the purple that we did in the beginning to sort of like deepen it up in like the outer corner. Like that. And then taking the same blending brush to blend that out again. Then I'm taking my PC10, which is also sort of like a blending brush. And I'm going to be taking the shade Lilac right there and going to place that sort of like as a transition color for the blend that we just did. So I'm just bringing it up also into the brow really create a nice blend. Then I'm taking the shade Fruity again because that has disappeared a bit and just go over where we placed that. So now I'm taking this small packing brush from the Beauty Bay Iconic set as well and I'm going to be taking the shade Tahiti to my lower lash line. So now I'm going to take my P. Louise base again and we're going to use this to create a cut crease. So I'm just putting a bit on the back of my hand and then I'm going to be taking this Morphe M178 brush. And this is the brush I basically always use to do a cut crease. So I want to take a little bit of base on there, not too much. And then just like stamp where you want the cut crease. So we're just going to do a half one like this. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye and then I'll be back. So I was just talking about how I did like a half cut crease and then I saw it like wasn't recording. But right now I'm putting on this shade called Starlight on my eyes with my finger because that gives like the most pigmentation. And this shade is so pretty. It's sort of like a purpley blue like geochrome shade. I haven't seen anything like this before. What a gorgeous shade, you guys. So now I'm going to take this brush again and I'm going to be taking the shade Fruity again. So like the pinky purple. And I'm going to place that like right where the cut crease ends to sort of like blend that together. So now the only thing left is a bit of inner corner highlight and we are going to be using the shade Pearl right here which also looks super super pretty. I'm just going to take a pencil brush and then apply this to the inner corner. It sort of has a green duochrome to it. A very very special shade like that so that is the finished look i'm now going to put on some lashes and mascara and then i'll be back to show you guys the end result okay guys so i just applied my peaches and cream number 30 lashes and that completes the look i'm super happy with how it turned out i love all the purple shades and i'm super excited to be trying out also the other shades in this palette so overall i'm really excited about this palette but of course i cannot judge about the other shades because i haven't used those but i will definitely update you guys on my instagram story what i think about those as well i would love to hear from you in the comment section whether you like this look and what you think of the palette if you have tried it out yourself or if this palette 
to sale on your wish list. So if you did enjoy this video or this look, I would absolutely love it if you gave the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!